Welcome back everyone. So today we got a beautiful day outside and uh, some good and bad news. Well, obviously on this car right here. Well, well, guess what? What did I, I decided to go with? Because I kind of got tired of chasing wires all over the place and I took the ECU out. I was going to probe the wiring all the way to that, which didn't make sense. How can it go just bad after the rebuild? all the wiring was good any you know anything suspicious on the wires i repaired so i was like hey you know i had a guy in one of our uh facebook groups that just suggest to me take your ecu apart or ecm so i did well guess what there is a problem let me show you let me go let's go outside i'm gonna show you what the problem is i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see but uh you see that track right there right by my finger i can't really tell if there is a if it's a good resolution or not right there right there so that track right there is broken it looks like it kind of melted up and snapped in half so i'm gonna have to re-solder that right there and uh hopefully that fixes the engine engine light issue so all the other tracks on the ECM looks good um, I'm sorry if you guys can't see it because I can't really tell in the camera whether it's good resolution or not but as you guys can see it's it looks good I looked on here too um, in this side it looks everything looks good all the tracks it's just that right there that one little track right there that's busted and this is what looked like inside the ECM and it had a bunch of this white uh i think it's a uh, water uh, oxidation uh because this is the dumbest design i have ever seen uh, on a car why would you put ecus next to a coolant tank i don't understand especially the guy probably got a lot of pressure and it probably boiled not boiled probably but pushed water out all over this place so it had vapors and those vapors most likely traveled inside of this inside of the ECMs. I don't see any gasket in here. This this that's what shocked me. Like there's no water seal inside inside the ECM. That's actually really surprising to me. When I'm going to put it back together, I'm probably going to seal it with some sort of sealant around it, just a tiny layer, but I'm going to seal it because that yeah. I'm going to clean it all nicely with electrical cleaner, solder that, put it together. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be in this video, but I'm probably going to check out the, the BCM, the brake control module. And I'm going to probably try to fix that too. Um, don't really want to spend the money to send it out to get it fixed, to be honest. Um, I want to save myself a couple hundred bucks and probably save, save you guys a couple hundred bucks. If I can get that fixed, I can take that apart the uh, brake control module because that's pretty common issue on these cars so but first we need to take care of this so once i put this together and the check engine light goes away i'll switch over to that and if i can get this taken care of fast enough today i'll switch to that and we'll take care of both of them today if not that will have to have to be a separate video we'll see so for soldering this kind of stuff you need um, some high quality magnetic wire uh, which is magnet wire AWG so 28 and then I got a 40 no 38 so I'm probably by the thickness of that track right there I'll most likely end up using the the probably the 38 the little thinner one because that track is really skinny so I'll end up using this one the 38 uh, AWG magnet wire all right as you guys can see got some protector on it not necessarily a masterpiece but yeah i don't know it looks it looks connected everything looks good i kind of get it got it as nice as possible and i got some uh, protector on it on top also so it keeps it protected also it's not just bare as you can see it's kind of like brownish protector but yeah it's all done so i'm gonna put it together i'm gonna try to seal it a little bit at least because i really don't want no moisture or anything getting in there okay you guys so i don't have the special tool to take the ecu out but you see those pink pins down there those pins on both sides have to be pushed in like two inches almost so just grab a screwdriver take these out like pull them out and then take a screwdriver 
or something and just push them in i had a hook and a screwdriver i used pushed them in that released it and then when i put it back in i got a screwdriver stuck on the side of the ecu and just locked it back in place on both sides so that's how i did it okay so i started the car up remember you guys mass airflow used to read 1200 and something now look at it mass airflow it started like 70 it's going down it's cold start it's going 36 35 29 so it's going way down so it's reading it now can you guys believe it i fixed it i fixed it <laughs> boy Whew. i was this close to quitting i was really really close to quitting um this car got me that got me badly like this car took me all over the places like i don't know why but the ecu i did not want to touch like i did not want to mess with it i had not i did not want to do anything nothing with it i had you know i didn't want to do anything with it you know but you know i tried to <laughs> like my opinion for some reason um was that you know maybe i crashed the wire or something you know because you know i rebuilt the engine before i rebuilt it was fine uh before like, before i rebuilt the engine but uh excuse me that beep was annoying me uh after i rebuilt it it came so i don't know why maybe it was just a coincidence i don't know or maybe i don't even know to be honest but yeah um now it's good it's reading mass airflow is dropped to 23 so when it's warm i check my brother's car it's supposed to be around 14 and a half when it's warm idling so it's getting there it's at 23 now as you guys can see right here at the values uh inch hd right here 20 actually 22 right now so right here before you guys saw it it was a maximum value it was 1200 and something or 100 anyways around 1200 the reading was Whew, i am so happy thank you lord uh, i was really getting irritated with this car because it would cut boost like you start accelerating it would cut boost it would do random stuff how many wires i repaired i mean it's a good thing i guess because i just started repairing wiring after wiring just whatever looks suspicious i started repairing it uh so now i'm just gonna get a bunch of those covers i don't know what they call those plastic little tubes they put over wiring all over i'm gonna buy new ones replace as much of them as possible you know renew the insulation on the wires and um i don't know i will see right now i'll go for a test drive make sure everything's good it dropped down to 20 now uh, make sure everything is good um and yeah and maybe maybe i'll pull out the abs module i will see because if i pull it out i need i want to use this car monday to work so uh i want to make sure it's fixed so i don't want to tear into the module and then not be able to fix it because like i said it's uh yeah i don't know we'll see anyways i'll see uh i don't think i'll be able to tear into it today because um it's almost nighttime already and yeah i don't know i don't feel like doing it so i'm gonna go drive it multiple times park it go start to drive it again and you know make sure that this is 100 percent that this is drivable at full throttle it's okay and everything so once i figure that out once i confirm everything's good then uh, i'll probably just close this out i'll let you guys i'll take you guys on a journey on a test drive with me so so the reading is at 18 now the car is almost at operating temperature look at it though like before i would even like rev it it would like start spitting at like 4000 rpm with a brr, 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 brr. now look it goes all the way to red line no problem mass airflow is raising and dropping as it should yes 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 <laughs> i'm so excited i actually got this figured out Whoo! but that soldering though not as easy as i thought it would be like man i was sitting there for like an hour trying to get that soldered in like properly and nicely and cleanly so it's now yeah anyways that was a lot harder maybe i need a smaller uh, soldering gun tiny one and yeah anyways i'm not a professional you know soldering guy so i have to learn as i go so hopefully you know the more i do soldering ecus and modules i'll learn more and more but yeah i still got a long way to go got the job done though let's floor it Woo yes 
yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wow, this is so awesome. I am so excited. Like, I'm gonna go stop right there. And I think all wheel drive system stop stopped glitching. I think the all wheel drive system doesn't glitch anymore. Let's do this. Let's let's give it a right turn and just floor it. It's in sport mode. So it's a little more aggressive. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't tell whether it was spinning or not. It was accelerating hard though, all the way to the red line. No issues. Yes! Whew. Like, wow. This is exciting. This is a little more work than I would have wanted. Uh, you know, especially computers, anything related with computers. I mean, typically for somebody, you know, that's at home, you don't really want to be touching, you know. But in this situation, it took care of my issue. It took care of the ECU issue. Uh, next, on, next thing in line is the... Uh, brake control module the BCM code it's internally I think the same exact thing happened either a connection of some sort of soldering connection broke loose or a, you know a track to some I don't know some broke but uh, I don't know we'll see we'll find out but I'm there this gave me that push that just do it yourself you know this I did myself something that you know not a lot of people would want to touch most likely uh, but you know, I touched it, I fixed it, and it's all good now. I saved myself a lot of money, a lot of money. So, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Man. As you guys can see, you know, check engine light, car boosted like who knows what. So, yeah, we finally figured it out. So, I made the video, you know, asking for help pretty much. Um, Re diagnosing everything repairing wires nothing helped as you guys saw so I'm just gonna say you know fix that issue probably put in the title so this will be a fix for one of you guys if you guys have the same code and you're you know you replace the sensor or replace the wiring checked all your fuses everything's checked out but you still having this issue open up the ECU trust me it's so easy to open up the ECU uh, whether you want to repair it, it's up to you. Uh, I would probably take it to, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, just take it to a shop. I don't think they'll charge you for that little tiny piece to repair that. They won't charge you much for that. Uh, and uh, just pop it back in and that it is, you know. Don't get too frustrated like I did because I was really, I was on the verge of just be like, I'm going to part this thing out. Like, I, that's it. <laughs> uh, and then after the immobilizer shut off on me, I was like, okay that's I, I literally i was this close to quitting on this car but you know fix the immobilizer figure that out fix this the next thing is the abs brake module and then i gotta swap out the rear shocks and we are done and this car is 100 percent on the road because the shot the rear shocks are making quite a you know noise like the front ones were making those are starting to make the same noise clunking a little but the back one's not as important as the front ones i wanted to get the front ones out of the way so Whew. Well, that's it. The car works perfectly fine. Radiator fan and everything works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna uh, go around right now, wrap some wiring, um, organize everything a little bit uh, to make it look a little nicer now. And then, um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go buy some of this stuff, this plastic stuff that goes over wires and then um, put it over some wires because the some of it already cracked and fell off. So going to renew that and then we'll pull the ABS model which is under there uh, probably next week uh, I don't want to get into it today um, so yeah I'll pull that next week and then uh, we'll get that figured out and then change the rear shocks and this car is 100% after that I don't know we'll see I'll either use it for daily or I might just post it for sale we'll see um, the transmission was already serviced when I got it the guy serviced it right before he sold it to me PCV system was already so you know uh, changed too. The thermostat was changed. The hose was changed. Uh, I think the turbo was changed also not long before he sold it to me. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of stuff was already serviced. I wanted to service the holdic system in this, the front differential, the rear differential, and the holdic system. Um, and then yeah, we'll see. I might just use it for daily or our, 
I might sell it. We'll see. And just get another project. We'll see. All right, so I just triple checked everything underneath the car, like tied everything up. So uh, everything looks good, checks out. So it's going to be ready for me to take it to work for a few days. Hopefully everything checks out. Once that checks out, uh, the next time I get a day, a free day, if I get home early, I'll get to the uh, brake control module. I'll take that apart, uh, try to fix that. If then And then after that, the rear shocks. And this thing is going to be all done and then we'll see we'll either modify it or and daily it or just sell it and just get another project we'll see we'll see on this one um i'm not really sure what i'll do so um hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys found it helpful because i couldn't find nothing on you know no repair uh on these kind of issues on this kind of code on this on these cars i don't know if it's common or not but hey you know i posted it and hopefully you know, there's going to be people that it will help out. Even if I help one or two people out, it will still be worth it. So um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as usual, see you next time.